Hello there. We've had a fantastic few days at this campsite. Ben Livy campsite, County Galway. It's flipping stunning here. The people that run it, Declan, Mary, and their kids, Holly, Lisa, Tom, and Katie, are fantastic, as you'd have seen in that last video. They've been so hospitable, so lovely. I cannot fault this campsite. It's got everything you want for a peaceful stay. We were down there on the end. You've got the llamas over there. Look at that, look. And the lock is calm today. Sheep there. What's well, not the like, eh? Flipping lovely people, beautiful countryside. I mean, Ireland as a whole, as a big island, is the place that just keeps on giving. It's beautiful here. I'm absolutely, totally in love with Ireland. It's flipping lovely. Everyone we've met face to face have been fantastic. I just, I'm just lost for words. Stunning. Anyway, stop being romantic, JP. Right, we're here. We're all sorted out and we're off. We're going to pastures new today. We've got to pop to the shops, pick up a couple of bits. Sammy wants to get something. So I'll show you what she gets and then we're off somewhere else. And I'll show you when we get there. Quite sad to leave here. There we go. See you in a minute. We're on Achill Island, right on the World Atlantic Way. I've come here because it's an island off the west coast of Ireland. It's an island off of Ireland. And there's some interesting things here, so I thought I'd bring you along and show you Achill Island. It's flipping beautiful here. And look at them cliff faces behind me, look. Bearing in mind, today has been red hot. Yesterday, I don't even see my face, was flipping boiling. We were sitting outside the van all day, got roasted at that last campsite. It was lovely. That campsite we just come from was beautiful. If you come to Ireland, you've got to go there and go and see Declan, Mary and the family. Flipping lovely. Anyway, and we come to a campsite, because there's something up the road that I want to go to. We come past it today, there's a few park ups here, but there's a fairground on one of them. We could have parked there. I said, oh, sorry, we're just going to park in a car park. And uh, yeah, as we did, one of my subscribers come in and said hello. So hello, Paul and your lovely wife. Thanks for coming to see us. And the tips, we're definitely going to go there. So thanks for popping over and seeing me, my old mate. Happy flipping days. But now, it's seven o'clock in the evening and it's getting a bit breezy. Look at that mountain there, look. And that cloud coverage just coming down over the top. I think it's going to be a damp night tonight. Now, not usually my cup of tea, this sort of campsite. It's heaving. There's lots of things to do here for the kids. If you've got kids and you're in Ireland, this is a cracking place to come. 
There's like a little adventure park over there with a seesaw and a climbing frame and all that sort of stuff. Coffees and crepes and ice cream vans and all that sort of stuff. It's one of them places. You've got an aquarium there, which is just over the back there. And a couple of tours you can go on. And there's a bus stop just outside. So I'm gonna, not gonna take you over there because we walked over there earlier on. But I just wanted to show you around where we was today before we move off in the morning and go to the campsite on the other side of Ack Hill, which is somewhere else I'm gonna go. But over there, you've got a couple of pubs, bars, restaurant. There's a couple of shops. There's like a supermarket, a little crafty type shop just at the entrance. There's plenty of places to eat here. There's a little shop on the site, which I'll walk you past. But as I say, it's not particularly my cup of tea. It's not the sort of campsite that I'd home in on because it's flipping packed. There's Paul's motorhome over there, the Heimer. Oh mate, but it's quite busy. Let's put it that way. Here today, when the sun was out, it was flipping heaving. There's the fairground over there. I'll show you that in a minute. Now you can hire surfboards and that here, but you have to be careful of the tides because when the tide pulls out of this little estuary here, it can rip right out and you could get caught out. And it actually says up there, the tides are detrimental to your health. So that's pretty detrimental to your health, isn't it? Dying. But I don't know if you can hear in the background there, the old fairgrounds going there, so the kids can go over there and play. But I pulled up and there was flipping people out everywhere here. It's quietened down quite a bit. And where we're parked, it's like a bit of a free-for-all really. They just go, oh, I'll park over there on a flat bit. But it's really quiet. Just sitting around, poncing around on my computer this afternoon, watching a few YouTube videos and doing a bit of editing. But it's really quiet. Can't get my head around here. Mind you, the fairground started now, so it's probably not going to be quiet anymore. There's an ice cream van. There's a the kiddies' playground. And over the back there, on that sort of car park, there's some motorhomes parked up there. That's a park up. And there's some motorhomes there over the back on another little park up. There's a flipping seafood stand now. My seafood mojo's been knackered here. It's only shut Monday and Tuesdays and it's flipping Monday today. Absolutely flipping gutted. And it looks really nice as well. Anyway, I won't be eating none of that, will I? As you come in the campsite, there's a great big drafts board, an outside drafts board there and an outside chess board. People have been playing that today. There's all your bottle banks. So that's quite nice, it's all gated. It's got cameras everywhere, so that's quite secure. And when you go in, I'll quickly show you around. When you go in, the young lady who's in there today tells you about the place. A young fella come out with a scooter, e-scooter, and showed us to our pitch where we wanted us to go. Well, it's not so much of a pitch, really. It's just where they wanted us to go. There, where them wooden barriers are, where them guys in the really bright high-vis jackets are, and the wolf, um, bless his heart. That's public toilets, there. So yeah, pretty snazzy. Cut the kids up there, look. Trying to kill themselves. Anyway, I'll show you around here. Through the gate. And there's the reception. Next to the reception is like a children's play area, like a games room, showers and toilets. And the showers and toilets are all, well not the toilets much, but the showers have got tokens you have to use. And I think it's a euro a token. They do Calagas here and your bins are over the back there. So yeah, not my normal campsite, because I like it quiet. But yeah, it's really nice. It's really quiet here now. I think a lot of people have gone home. That's another toilet block there. There are wash machines on site, but the view around here is spectacular. I mean, look at the clouds coming across that 
Moontain over there and across the cliffs. It's absolutely flipping lovely. Happy days. And to be honest with you, it's not that cold now. It's quite warm. It's quite warm. We are fit. Parked on the grass. Let's go and show you where we are. But we drove up this morning from that other campsite. It's a lovely drive. You go past the Tesco's and then Aldi. So you can go and do your shopping now. Happy flipping days. We drove past the McDonald's. That's the first McDonald's I've seen on Ireland. Not that I eat it, but the scenery on the way in is beautiful. Really nice. So there we are. All on our lonesome. Now we're just on a grass pitch. It's quite expensive here. 30 euros for a non-electric pitch, which is about 27, 25 quid, 27 quid. And that's us, job done. But it felt really busy today, and they come here now. And it, it's quite quiet. It's quite a peaceful vibe here. All the kids were playing out today. It's nice to see all the kiddies playing out. It's their holiday time. It's a lovely day today. They're all out there on their surfboards and stuff. Obviously, it's a big seaside destination here. And that was all down there on a the beach, all scoffing ice creams and bits and bobs. Nice. That's what we like to see. And there's another big old mountain there. It begins with an S. I'll put the name up. And the clouds are coming down onto that now. I think we're in for a damp old night. We're right on the coast, obviously. Well, wild Atlantic way, isn't it? <laughs> what part of a bit like a seaside town means it's a seaside town? Anyway, so tomorrow morning, we'll show you the next little bit we're gonna to go to, because there's a place up the road I wanna to go to, and then we're gonna drive round the island and end up at another place over the back just to show you what it's like here, there's lots of history on this island. There are sheep everywhere. It's Sheepsville, all up and down the road, on the, just outside the campsite. It's magic, but as you can see, there was loads of kids here today, and it's just like a little quiet family vibe here, little kids playing about, not making loads of racket. Water taps everywhere, there's a water tap there. I think that's a service pitch, that one, with electric, but yeah. I was a bit, because we'd been on the other campsite, we were just been, and it was like Quietsville. We was the only ones there, really. It was lovely, really peaceful. Got here and it was like sensory overload. So I was a bit, when I got here, we went for a walk, see the closed seafood stall, and I was a bit, flipping in, I was shut. But it's growing on me. <laughs> but anyway, we'll show this other place tomorrow and round to where we're going to be stopping next. Very peaceful night. A lot of these vans here seem to be like seasonal pitches. So when you pull on, you think, God, there's a lot of people here. So quiet last night. Even the fun fair. That started about, I don't know, about seven o'clock. About seven o'clock. I had a bit of an early night because I'm a wimp. Watched the film. But really quiet. Really nice. All the facilities look really clean and the staff are very polite and nice. But it rained last night. Flipping hell, proper flipping rained. See these clouds off of these mountains here. They come right down last night and they're over the top there. There's people out there kite surfing. There we go. But the rain come down, the wind did blow. And now we're off. I'm going to take you to somewhere else, just up the road. Sammy's getting the van sorted, and we're off. So I brought you up the road, because I had to come here. I had to come here. And we're at Guilty's. And this is the most westerly pub in Europe. It's no more. Canada. <laughs> Brilliant, eh? And it's up for sale. I think it's been up for sale for some time. We've parked here. It's early in the morning-ish, and here we are. Now, unfortunately, I can't go in for a Guinness. 
because I've got to drive, but I've got to go in here, and I? I've been in the most westerly pub in Europe, and the weather's lovely, and in that way is my old homeland, Canada. Yeah, it's for sale. So let's go and have a look in here. I left the dog in the van because you're not allowed dogs in here. There we go. Most westerly bar and restaurant in Europe, no less. How cool is that? Let's go in here and have a look, eh? Yeah, that's how cold it is. Got a cold fire going. There's the bar. Sandwich through there. So we're in here. Fans out there, doggy's there, because he's not allowed in, looking out the window. Here we go, look. And this is it. The most westerly boozer in Europe. What a beautiful island this is. It's absolutely stunning here. Wild, really good. Anyway, let's talk about breakfast. Guess what I'm having. My first full Irish breakfast in Ireland. <laughs> Lovely flipping jubbly. Right, this is what I like to see. £12.50 this breakfast, which I think is very, very reasonable. And look at this. A proper pot of tea. Look at that. <laughs> proper pot of tea. Sammy's got an orange juice. And they bring loads of butter and marmalade out for your toast. Now you don't get that in the UK unless you ask for it, do you? And they bring you, usually bring you out a cup of tea. Oh, I've got a great big pot. Oh, I do like a cup of tea. Look at that. With free tea bags. With free tea bags. No expense spared. Right, you get well fed here. Mine was 12.50, Sammy's was 10 euros. Look at that. All that toast, a huge pot of tea. Irish fry up. And there's Sammy's. That looks flipping lovely. And you've got two eggs. It's got two pineapple eggs. on it. I've got two of everything. Two of everything. <laughs> She's happy. Gonna get stuck into this now. Flipping mm. hell. Well, we ain't done bad. Tummy you full? Really? You've done really well there, darling. Mind you, you did give me some beans and egg and an ash brown. Oh, and that is for our little boy, Raven. A little sausage toasted sandwich for him. He'll like that, because he's out there in the van. And I'm just guzzling my way through my tea. That was well worth coming to Europe's most westerly bar. Happy flipping days. Here she comes. 
So we are now at Keem Bay. Look at this. This is right up about as far as you can get on a kill. Look at the clouds coming down over that mountain now. It is flipping incredibly. This video is just not going to do it justice. And it's mega windy. So there's a sign there that says that's as far as you can go in a motorhome where we're parked up. There's a beautiful beach down there. Ooh. Well nice, isn't it? You have to be careful driving these roads because there are sheep everywhere. It's the island of the sheep. They're everywhere. But it's stunning. Wild. As they call it. Yeah, really beautiful. I thought I'd bring you down here because we're heading over to the other side of the island now to see what's over there. Just had that great big gut buster breakfast. Raven has had his sausage and his bit of toast, bless his heart. And we've come up here. Let's show you over this little mound here. Without getting run over. Come here, mate. There you go. As you can see, sheep all over the place. Blooming lovely, free roaming. It looks like there's a little snack bar down there, a coffee shack thing. Beach is beautiful, right? Flipping lovely. Here she comes, flipping Dolly Daydream. Yes, gonna take you over the other side now. Oh, there's public toilets there. Public toilets over there. makes you feel alive this place absolutely lovely we're going to take you over the other side of the island to a place called seal caves i'll try to get sammy before she gets blown off the flipping side of this cliff but i have to show you this bit beautiful Off we go.
somewhere different today. We're at Seal Caves campsite, still on Achill Island. But look at this for something out the front of your van. Look at that. That was proper moody yesterday. We got here, there was low lying cloud everywhere. It looked like something off a of Lord of the Rings up there. And then it started to rain. And it rained. Proper Irish rain. All afternoon. Windy, 35 mile an hour winds. Bit of a theme going there, isn't it? 35 mile an hour winds and it trolleyed down till this morning. Luckily, we're on our standing. We're on a nice little pitch now. We was over there where that triangle hut is. We couldn't stay there for two nights. We wanted to stay another night because yesterday was atrocious. We wanted to have a proper look around and show you about. The beach over there is flipping beautiful. So there's a few bits of clips in this video that will be from yesterday. And you'll notice them because there's none of that. <laughs> no sun, blue sky. But we're on this pitch now. On this light terrace. I think there's three terraces here. There's one right up the top. There's Raven. He wants to go for a walk. Do you want to go for a walk, mate? Say hello. Oh, that's nice. Well done. Been eating grass again, haven't you? Have you been eating grass? And we're in a middle terrace. Terrace two. I think that's terrace one now. I'll give you a little look around here. Giving you ideas if, if you want to come over here with your children and have a bit of a holiday. You don't want to do park ups, etc places you can come to and this is great for kids here literally at the gate across a little bit of a sand dune area there is the beach and it is stonking I haven't done any world swimming yet I might go over there and have a swim on the beach you can also hire out saunas they've got two saunas they're like big whiskey barrels and you can have a sauna in them which is really nice so you can go in there heat yourself up go and have a dip in the sea and then come back and jump in a sauna again, it's flipping lovely. So you're coming off the main road, I'll show you that anyway when I go up there. And there's a little shop there that does everything, loads of different bits and pieces. So if you forget stuff like bacon, butter, bread, eggs, etc., you can get them in there. But the toilets and showers look nice. The toilets, the showers are f one euro for five minutes, or two euros for ten minutes. If you're anything like me, I'm in and out. I don't hang about. Five minutes is long enough for me in a flipping shower. So, yeah, really nice here. Let's go and have a look, eh? Right, so, as you're driving, a kill seal caves campsite. That's your wash machines there. And there's your wee shop. Do everything in there, ice creams and surfy bald things and bread, butter, bacon, all the stuff you might need. There's the front of it. And you've got this beautiful panoramic view here. It's absolutely stunning on this island. All well, the kiddies here playing, whatever they're playing, it's maybe football. So we're gonna have a walk up this way. Yesterday, it was atrocious over here. We're gonna walk right up here. There's a bar over there. Apparently there's a French restaurant up here somewhere. So we're gonna have a walk along the coast. This is a blue flag beach here most of the beaches in Ireland are blue flag they're incredible absolutely beautiful beaches like the one we was on on the last campsite that was a blue flag beach just get up here for getting run over and up up here whoop yeah yeah that was a blue flag beach <coughs> beach even and you're not supposed to take dogs on now but there was people on there with dogs yesterday. I'm not too sure whether you can take them on a lead or you're not supposed to take them on at all. I'll have to research that one. But we're gonna have a walk up here. And I'll show you the beach. It's flipping beautiful. But look at that. I'll put a little clip in here now of that, what it looked like yesterday. Oh, that looks a business up there, doesn't it? Wow, proper mysterious. Looks like you're going to have a big tribe of orcs coming down there. Minging, wasn't it? But 
There we go, that's at the back of the campsite. As I said, there's terraces. I don't know whether there's four terraces. There's a, one right up the top there, but we was down low yesterday because it was so windy and we was fairly sheltered. And there's the saunas over there. Have a look at the bar. Right, so let's show you this beach. We're round near by the bar now. I don't think the bar opens till five o'clock in the evening. There's Sammy sitting down there. Look at this. Gorgeous beach, isn't it? There's a port toilet there, and there's also two over by the saunas. But it's a stunning beach. I think we're just going to have a walk up here and along here, get a better view of this. But I've noticed a lot of this, I don't know if you can see this green plant over here, that's Gunnera. Now, I don't know whether that's an invasive species over here, but I've seen it everywhere. It likes damp conditions, so it's mild here as well in Ireland. So I don't know whether that's classed as an invasive species over here, but I've seen loads of it. All the ditches and edge rows have got them in. There's a load up that cliff bank there. Uh, interesting. And up the top of the hill there is a craft shop. We went to that yesterday. And in there they do a Polaroid cameras. The guy repairs Polaroid cameras, which you can buy from there and the film, etc. And it's like a little artisanal shop. They do little poetry books in there that are all handmade. It's quite pretty, as you can see by this bit of uh, video I'm putting over now. But a hill island. It's really nice. Really nice here. I think we might pop into the pub tonight. It is Gunnera. Let me show you it closer up. There's a wee river. That's Gunnera. There. Bit of a nasty plant, got spiky stems and leaves, so it's not what you want growing around really. Anyway, let's go and have a look up here. So we're going to walk a bit of this dog at trail now. Now do you see all this? That's all water mint going up there and it smells glorious. Oh, it smells lovely. And I think the Latin for watermint is Mintha aquatica, if my memory serves me cor correctly. But there's another view of the campsite. Well cool, isn't it? So it's got a bit of an island feel. You know, obviously it's an island, but it's got a bridge coming over onto it. Now when they put a bridge over onto an island, it sort of loses that island feel. I don't know if that makes sense, but it has done on the Isle of Skye. Brought a lot more people onto the island. But to be fair, on this island there's not a lot here shop-wise and tourism-wise, but it's just flipping beautiful. And I think that's a good thing, to be honest with you. It's a place where you can come off sort of mainland island and come on holiday and feel like you're somewhere else. It's absolutely beautiful. And what a setting for a campsite, look. Flipping happy days, eh? Ooh, fishy. Let's have it down on this pier now. I think they do boat trips and fishing trips out from here that you can book. Look at that. There's a mum and dad and a couple of kids doing some crabbing down here. I did ask them if they had any crabs, but they didn't catch any, unfortunately. Gorgeous, isn't it? Water's very clear. And there's the beach again. You 
feel that gunner right all the way down that cliff bank. Look at that. Flipping lovely. Right, let's head back. Them old baskets there in front of Sammy smell right fishy. Make me hungry. Take three. Take a flipping three. <sighs> Managed to get in the bar. It opens at five and they do food. So it's not far to walk from the campsite. You can see the campsite there where the flags are flying and the sun's still out. What a beautiful day. Lots of people on the beach now enjoying it, all having a swim. Unfortunately, I ain't got in again, but happy flipping days, eh? I've got a Guinness, properly settled one, because the last time I slipped into a bar and got a crafty Guinness, all used lot grasped me up saying it weren't settled properly. Well, some of you did anyway. So it's properly settled. I was in hurry. Anyway, I'll leave this one here and I'll show you where we go next in the next video. Got quite a bit more traveling to do and I hope you're enjoying this series while we're in Ireland. Thanks for watching and subscribing and commenting. And if you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. And if you have subscribed, make sure you check and make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube keep unsubscribing people. It's all witchcraft, that thing. But I'll leave you from sunny Akil. Let me turn around here. Ah, look, the sky is blue. And I'm going to enjoy my Guinness. You stay safe and you stay sane. And we'll catch up on the next one. Love to you all. Take care. Bye.